Greetings, happy viewers, and welcome to Vegetarianism, the noble way of living. Today, I will be preparing for you a popular North American dish called chili. You know, living here in the Southwest, we have a strong Hispanic influence on our cuisine. With that in mind, I will be using traditional Hispanic ingredients. So I'm gonna call this dish chili con amor. Okay, so our first ingredient we're gonna use is the soy rizo, which is uh, actually a uh, vegan version of a Mexican sausage called chorizo. And uh, typically this is a uh, sausage eaten at uh, breakfast time. But this is a wonderful uh, uh, vegan version of it. And that's what we're gonna use in our dish today. If you cannot find this particular uh, vegan sausage, you can substitute with two patties of your favorite uh, vegan burgers. So, just gonna remove the package right now. Over here I have a, uh, a hot frying pan, which I'm just gonna add about a tablespoon of canola oil. And just spread that around. Okay. As you can see, there's a, a casing here and you could just kind of squeeze it out just like a tube. And I have this on a medium high heat. There we go. And we're gonna use both of them for our dish. We'll let that sit and brown and uh, while I'll prepare the chili, the rest of our dish. So first thing we're going to start out with is our onion. We, I have half an onion here diced already and I have a, a hot pot already. And I'm going to put about two tablespoons of uh, canola oil and I'll get our onion started. And with that, you just want to um, get them slightly cooked so that they're translucent. Just stir that around. I'll add a little bit of pinch of salt and a pinch of uh, black pepper. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice celery. Uh, we're going to use about four stalks of celery, approximately two cups. So what I did here is I'm just going to Cut this in half, cut this in four pieces. And you just want to dice it really small. Make sure you use a sharp knife because I know the um, celery sometimes can can be really grainy and then you don't get a clean cut and you get like fibers of the celery in there. What I have here is I have the, the other three stalks I already cut so I'm just going to throw that in right now. Along with the one I just cut. Just stir this. And we're going to let this soften up, I would say maybe about uh, three to four minutes, maybe a little bit longer. But once the uh, celery starts to get a little softer, then, then we can just go ahead and proceed. Stir around our chorizo. So now I'm going to cut our uh, bell peppers. I'm using a green one and a red one. And I think, you know, the bell peppers adds a wonderful fragrance to our dish and also adds a lot of nice color, especially the red. You know, if you wanted to use uh, yellow, it's fine, orange. So again, with our bell peppers, we're just going to dice this up small like we did our, um, our celery pieces. So I'm just going to clean it up a little bit with the the vein, just cut it out, okay, 
So now we we'll just begin by dicing our bell pepper. And you know, it doesn't have to be very fancy, just small enough so that it's, it's not really uh, standing out in our dish. I'll throw in our green peppers. Stir that around. Now I'll begin cutting our red pepper. Okay, now that our peppers are cut, now I'm gonna just throw in the rest of our ingredients. Um, first, I'm gonna add uh, black beans. What I did was I strained it and washed it first. Uh, here I have pinto beans. Again, I, I washed these first and I strained out the water. Okay, next I have uh, chili beans. And uh, the chili beans I, I actually left in their the, the sauce that came in. Next I have uh, diced tomatoes, one can of diced tomatoes, or actually I'm going to use two. So here's the first one. And I have uh, one can of corn. I drain this one as well. Um, next, I have a small can of tomato sauce. Okay. Here I have a can of chopped green chilies. It's uh, not very spicy, but it adds a little, you know, flavor to the dish. Okay. Lastly, I have a tomato paste. It comes in a small can like this. It's pretty thick but adds a lot of uh, wonderful flavor. Um, and I have uh, about one can of uh, vegetable broth, which is almost two cups. Just pour that right in. Okay. Now I'm gonna stir this around a little bit. As you can see, this is a large uh, portion. <laughs> it's not a, this is something that you'd love to invite, uh, maybe a, a group of people to your house, maybe you watch a sporting event or some type of get together. This is a great dish to use for that. Okay. Next, I'm gonna add about uh, a teaspoon of salt. Add a, a teaspoon of uh, black pepper. Uh, about two teaspoons of uh, turbinado sugar we're going to use. Okay. And then here, uh, what I have is, I have a bunch of different spices. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use one teaspoon of cayenne pepper, one teaspoon of paprika, one teaspoon of dried basil leaves, one teaspoon of ground cumin, two teaspoons of oregano leaves, and then I have two tablespoons of chili powder. And it sounds like it's gonna be very spicy, but this is really, uh, actually not that spicy. It's kind of mild in flavor, in uh, heat. If you'd like to add more, you know, you could always add more paprika. If you really wanted to make it spicy, you could add uh, maybe habanero pepper. But uh, habanero peppers are very, very spicy. So have all our spices in here, and I'm, I'm gonna just stir it around. And over here I have our soy rizo, which is, I can hear it getting brown. Okay. 
And with this, you know, since it's already uh, soy protein, you don't have to worry about uh, killing the bacteria. Like, you know, when, when you when the people usually use uh, meat sausages, they have to make sure that it's cooked very, very well. You know, make sure it's completely cooked. At least with the, the soy products, you know, they're already cooked, so it's not so much important that it has to be at a certain temperature or whatever. Once it gets to uh, the, the proper consistency that you like, you know, you could just add it into the chili. And I think it's about right right now, so we could just go ahead and pour this in. And I'm just going to stir this around. Now what we have to do is we have to let this stew for uh, at least 40 minutes and you want to stir it every five minutes. Now I'm going to just put a top on this. When we come back, uh, this should be ready to go and I'll show you how we're going to apply this dish 